Okay, what's up guys? So uh, today what I'm going to talk about, uh, I'm going to do a quick, quick little review on these here. The DYS Fires 2206 2600 KV motors. Uh, I've been flying them on my Red Fusion now for uh, quite a while now. And I tell you what, I've, I've really fallen in love with these motors. I, I like them a lot. Now, with that being said, uh, I've got another Fusion that is set up with the 23, what are they, 2305, 2450, 2345 KV, whatever they are, the Mr. Steel, the TBS Silk motors. And they're not bad motors, but I like the fires more. Um, they, for what I do, I do the fly mostly freestyle. They, um, they're durable. They, they've, they've held up. So, um, just to open a box here and show you what you get, you get obviously the motor and the standard length of cable um, that comes with it. That is, to be honest, it's plenty. Um, you get two sets of of screws, motor screws, can't really see because my face is in the way, and you get two lock nuts, which is nice. Now one of the main features about this motor that I like the most is the, let's see if I can get it, the screw on the bottom. Okay, completely getting rid of the need for snap ring pliers or your little bread ties or losing C-clips and having to chase them down and find them. Uh, I hate, hate C-clips, especially after having motors um, that have the screw. Never again am I going to buy motors with C-clips. Uh, they are durable. I've crashed on concrete many a times. Um, you know, not really any damage to, to say. I, I do have one that I hit the corner of a curb on and dented pretty good. Um, but that's not the fault of DYS or the fire series. That is the fact that I was going 50 miles an hour to a concrete curb and hit it square on the motor. Um, so I really like these motors if you can't tell. They've got a hollow shaft. Um, I don't know how well you'll be able to see the, uh, the windings in there, but nice, thick, clean, cleanly wound windings. Um, especially if you compare these to like a Lumineer motor. Um, how the, the windings are real messy or even a Cobra um, or the older Cobras. I can't speak for the newer ones. Uh, but very good motors. I like them a lot. Uh, and I definitely recommend, especially if you're somebody that's looking at going 2600 KV, uh, which I would recommend just because it's a lot of fun, a lot of top end. Um, another thing about these is you hear people talk about the torque curve a lot. You've heard it a lot lately, especially with the 2300 series motors that are coming out, like the 2305, 2306, and even larger. Um, one thing I'll no I've noticed about the 2600 uh, KV versions, these 20 2206, 2600 KV fires, is they, it's got a really it's got a really even torque curve. Um, so I don't see a lot of sag from the motors or a lot of like spool up or I don't know how you describe it when you're coming down off of a tight dive and you level out and give it you know just try to recover from that uh, I just I like it I like how it feels I like everything about these so and I've got eight sitting on the shelf that's going to be replacing the Mr. Steel motors that I've got uh, and pretty much every other set of motors just because I like them that much and another great thing about these is they're $20 which is comparable to just about any other quality motor out there now granted you can get some cheaper motors for $9 um, you know you can get some more expensive motors like if the Mr. Steel is like 28 29 American dollars um, you know but these are these are great motors for especially for the money um, so like I said, I haven't had any problems with them. I've been flying them for almost two months now, and uh, they've been working out really well. So I'm going to snap on over some flight footage so you guys can get an idea. In fact, if you go back through my videos, uh, you'll be able to see plenty of flight footage. 
from these fire motors. So uh, here we go. All right, so you've seen some flight footage. I kind of gave you a little description. So if you like this review, if you want more, I'll try to find a different table that's not so wobbly next time. Um, or go ahead and click that subscribe button if you would. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or anything you want to see reviewed, especially on my uh, on my my list of um, my setup list on my quads, leave it down in the comments below. I try. I, I definitely read every comment. I'll try to respond to every, any and every comment that uh, I've, I've got on my page. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it helped. Uh, again, like, subscribe, uh, comment. Uh, be sure share this with your groups and your friends if you'd like. Uh, so with that said, thanks for watching and see you later.